Hi there. I'm sitting uh, amongst a bunch of bees right now. Not wearing the gear that you should. Wearing a pair of shorts and a short sleeve shirt and apparently bees are attracted to black. That's why the white beekeeper suits are white, I found out. I'm doing this because I think it's a good representation of what uncertainty feels like. I don't know anything about bees. If I got stung, I'll let you know. And that's what I want to talk a little bit about is uncertainty. It's not easy to live with. I remember when I found out that I got cancer like five years ago. My first thought was, I better call up St. Bronislava and Plover and buy my grave in case they gotta fire me in one of those. And I actually did buy it. And luckily, thanks be to God, I'm sitting here five years later. When Corona started up, I thought, how are businesses supposed to stay open? This is terrible, especially when they closed everything down. Can't, couldn't have been easy for many then or now. That's a lot of uncertainty. Then I thought about the roof on the school at St. Florence is going bad. It's still a nice building. How are you supposed to fix that now? Uncertainty. Going into month five of the Corona, uncertainty, uncertainty is still a problem especially when it feels like there's no end in sight. Overall, living in uncertainty is unpleasant because my brain tends to go negative, unfortunately. I wanna bring a little story in from the apostles to relate to uncertainty. It shows even when you have the answer, uncertainty can still cause problems in the brain. After Jesus prayed in the garden, he was arrested. All the apostles left him. Peter and John went and heard his trial in front of the religious leaders. Peter denied Jesus three times. John was the only apostle that went to the cross to see Jesus crucified, and none of the other apostles did. Jesus told the apostles multiple times that the Son of Man must be put to death and he will be raised on the third day. If the apostles knew this, why did they have such a difficulty on the day Jesus died and the three following days before his resurrection? The apostles even had a hard time believing Mary Magdalene when she went to the empty tomb and talked to Jesus and related that experience to them. Maybe fear set in. They could have had they could have thought the Roman government was gonna kill them too, along with Jesus, and they're afraid. It shows that no one is immune to the fears that uncertainty can bring. After Jesus was raised up, he went and visited the apostles. He brought them light. He brings light into the unknown. When Jesus appeared to the apostles, he shed light on what happened during his death, after his death, he shed light on the scriptures, how everything had to go that way for him to fulfill the Old Testament. Jesus can bring light into our situations, especially when we go to him for help. Jesus is also the way. He taught us the way to live. He taught us to pray and bring our troubles to him. Jesus said he will answer our prayers. Jesus is the truth. Sometimes it's hard to figure out what the truth is. But we have one truth that is above all truths, and that is Jesus and what he revealed to us. Jesus revealed himself to us. He gave us the truth about our existence, the truth that he calls us to be close to him. God wants us to be his sons and daughters. He wants us to love him, love us as our father, which he is. He wants us to call him our father. God wants us to close to him because we're his creation. He's, he loves us, he cares for us, wants to help us, especially when our mind is dwelling on the unknown and stuck in uncertainty. To close up in the Gospel of John chapter 14, verse 1, Jesus told the apostles, do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. That's my prayer for you and for myself. Let's take a look at these bees. 
apparently they're gonna be nice to me tonight.